Hey, it's Miss Burko here. I'm also at home just like you, but the learning hasn't stopped for me. I still have schoolwork on the computer, and I'm sure that your brains miss school, even if it's a little bit. So I think you guys saw my TikTok that I posted of creating this poster. And this is what we would be doing in class right now if we were meeting in school. So I thought, why not I record a video of us finishing this poster together? So this is our math unit continuing on quadrilaterals. This giant blue shape has four sides and they're all parallel. So hmm, that means it's a parallelogram. And our focus is on the area and the perimeter of the parallelogram. So the area is what is inside. We're going to count the squares inside. And that's going to give us the area. And the perimeter answers the question of the length of the outside. So we're going to start by counting the squares to find out how long each side is. And we're also going to count the squares that are inside in a special way. So let's start with that. So let's look at area. There's a special way that I want you to really try to focus on when you're counting area because you, there's these dot worksheets that you might have. So you start counting right where the first intersection begins. So one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to take my pen and write five squares, units, wink, wink, squares on top. Now let's see how many squares we have on the bottom. One, two, three, four. We have four squares. I wish I was playing four square right now. That'd be fun. Okay, so to find the area, I'm going to draw arrows because that's what we're doing. You're going to take the four from the four squares and you're going to take the five from the five squares and you are going to multiply them. So start thinking about what is four times five. So four times five is one, two, three, twenty. Ha ha. Okay. So it's 20 squares. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the area of this quadrilateral. I'm going to write area. Now, perimeter. If you can get area, you can get perimeter. Check it out. Let's do the perimeter in... Oh, I need a new color. Let's do brown. I'm going to do the perimeter in brown. So we already know. Let's use what we know. We, are, we know that the top of the quadrilateral is five squares long. We know that this side is also four squares long. So if this side is four squares and this side is the same length in this quadril, quadrilateral, this would also be four squares. Now, let's prove it. One, two, three, four. Aha. Now, let's look at the bottom. If this is five squares long, what do you think that length is? Five squares. Let's check. Let's count where the lines where they intersect. This is so important. Don't try to take cord shortcuts or cutting corners. No, no, no. One, two, three, four, five. But we are right. See, feels good to prove yourself right. Now, to find perimeter, we are going to add all the squares along the edges. So you're going around, not inside. You're finding out how long it is across all together. So you're going to take this side is 4 plus this side is 5 plus this side is 4 plus the bottom side is 5. So let's add. I know that 5 plus 5 is 10. 
4 plus 4 is 8. 10 plus 8 is 18. Okay, that got really messy. I don't know what happened there. 18 squares is the length of our quadrilateral. So that would be the perimeter. I'm going to write that down while you think about it. Also, my new teacher markers, they smell like candy. It's pretty cool while I'm writing. All right, so let's review. Area is answering the question of what's inside. You count the amount of squares on one side, count them on the other side, and you multiply them together. For perimeter, you take the length of each side and you add it all together. This also applies to other shapes, not just quadrilaterals, but we'll get into that later.